Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Siberia 3. And as we all know, Siberia 4 is just around the corner, it is just about to arrive and I cannot wait for that one to come out as soon as possible. Now before we're gonna jump into uh, the uh, sequel here and see uh, what the journey is gonna take us uh, and Kate Walker next, uh, I just wanted to go through every single one of these Siberia games. We did finish Siberia 1, we did finish Siberia 2 and now we're just about to jump into the third one just because I want to see where the uh, journey is gonna take us forward uh, in uh, the next one. In Siberia 4. So without further ado, sit back, relax everybody, and uh, let's carry on with the adventure. Let's do this. Now from all the Siberia games that I played in the past, the first two ones were the ones that I remember the most, but tell the truth, the third one is the one that I completely forgot. I don't really have a... Um, an idea of what to expect here, but look at this, even the graphics, everything looks so much better than it used to in the first two Siberia games. Oh god, what is she doing? I think after she delivered Hans to the mammoths, she tried to make her way back, and thankfully, we've been found by the Yukols and the Shaman, look at that. Man, these characters, the Yukos, are just so funny. <laughs> At the moment, I feel like I'm the uh, Snow White, and these are the Seven Dwarves saving us. But of course, the jump and the improvement in the graphics from the first two Siberias to this one has been really huge, and I cannot wait to see how the next game is going to look compared to this one. Oh, look at that. I think around my neck I have uh, Oscar's heart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Nomads found her dying in northern Siberia. Walker, Kate Walker, born in New York in the United States. She had an American passport on her. She showed up at the clinic last week. She's recovering. She's fine. You're certain, Olga Efimova. You have to keep her there until we arrive. I will do what it takes. You can count on me, Colonel. Wait, what? What the heck are these people chasing me? Huh. There we go. There's Kate. Now, this is so strange. I don't understand why the Yukols decided to take me here, though. Of course, they wanted to do everything they could to save me. And I guess they did. They did save me eventually, even if they brought me to this crazy-looking... Oh, Hello, sanitarium like Walker. place. Hmm. Um. Hi. Uh, hello. My name is Kirk, Kate Walker. Kirk of the Yukol tribe. Do you remember the Yukols? Yes, but what are you doing here, Where buddy? Where are we? My memory's all mixed up. There was a terrible blizzard with snow and ice, and then nothing. We are in the clinic of Dr. Zamyatin, in the town of Valsambor. How did I end up here? Hmm. We Yukos migrate with our snow ostriches to the sacred lands. It's a long journey. A very special journey. One month ago, we found you dying on a riverbank there in the north. We took you in and our shaman cared for you. Afterwards, we continued our journey. And today... We are both here to finish getting better. Yeah, it looks like he lost his leg. I have a feeling I'm supposed to maybe bring him a yeah, prosthetic or something. Uh, oh, you poor thing. You look seriously injured. I'm so sorry, Kirk. I appreciate your concern, Kate Walker. But don't worry about me. Dr. Zamiatin asked a master craftsman from Velsambor 
to make me a new leg, and he's going to put it on me when it's ready. It will hmm. be like a brand new leg. Now, from what I can remember, I am going to have to escape the sanitarium. Why are you tied to that bed? That was the decision of Madame Olga, Dr. Zamutin's assistant. She says I'm too restless, and it's the only way to make sure I get better. Apparently, it's going to take a long time to make my artificial leg. And in the meantime, my people are without a guide and are waiting for me, with the herd, so we can continue. Oh, so I'm guessing he's the guide of the herd. I get it. All right, uh, let's go with your leg. If you don't mind my asking about your leg, what How exactly happened it? to you? Soldiers bombed the route we were taking with our caravan. For no reason. Just to frighten us and force us to turn back. I was a bit too close to the explosion. A piece of rock. That's it. You mean the authorities did it on purpose? But why? They think that the snow ostrich migration has no place in today's world, and that my tribe should settle down once and for all. But we will never do that, Kate Walker. That would mean defying the spirits. And the Yukos fear the spirits far more than the soldiers. All right, uh, let's talk about him, I guess. The Yukos I've met didn't speak my language anywhere near as well as you. I'm very impressed. From time to time, missionaries and merchants came through our village. I learn very quickly, Kit Walker. It's important if I am to guide my people. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, Kirk, but aren't you a bit young for that? The spirits do not take age into account when they choose a chief for the Yukos. And the spirits are very wise. They do not make mistakes when they choose the one who will guide our people on the sacred migration. Hmm, the migration? Why do the Yukos make the journey? My people live in symbiosis with the great snow ostriches, Kate Walker. Their wool protects us from the cold. Their excrement feeds our crops, and their meat feeds us. They are also our mounts and beasts of burden, so we must follow them wherever they go. And do they migrate because of the weather? No, Kate Walker. They go to the sacred lands to reproduce. It is an event that only occurs a few times per century. For the Yukols, it is rare to be able to boast of having participated in more than three migrations during one's lifetime. Well, Kirk, I'm delighted to have made your acquaintance. I guess I have to go tell the staff that I'm awake, I feel fine, and I have no intention of hanging around here. Of course, Kit Walker. I'm sure someone will be in the yard. Maybe even Madame Olga. All right, well, um... Uh... That being said, look at this, guys. This is Siberia 3. And, of course, the graphics looks absolutely amazing compared to the uh, first two Siberias. Now, what I don't like, and I notice, is that the voice of uh, Kate here is quite different. What? Hmm, from what I recall. Hello? Is anybody there? I don't think anybody oh, heard locked. you, Kate. What the heck locked, locked us in here? Try using the call button that's located next to the door. All right, buddy. I feel like this is uh, to be some sort of a tutorial, if I'm not mistaken, by the looks of it, yeah. All right, so we do have a button over here that I'm supposed to... Nope, Nothing. not working. It doesn't work, Kirk. Hmm. I feel I like we're kind of stuck in here for now. I think I saw some of the using it the other day. Take a good look at the mechanism, Kate Walker. Maybe you can find a way to get it working again. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, so, of course, there is... Oh, you know what? I think if I'm going to take this one off... I'm probably going to be able tight. to then uh, see what's behind this and try to fix it. Bolted so this tight. one is bolted tight. I think I'm supposed to find some sort of a tool to open that up. Uh, let's see what we can find around here. So we do have a little bit of food, but I cannot really interact with it. Maybe there's a spoon or something in it that I can use. Oh, I can't make our way outside. What is that? Oh, look at that. There's a... Oh, looking at me. What's that owl doing here? Huh. Yeah, I got no clue what that's that doing out here. Doing here. Hmm. Checking on us, I guess. Making sure that we're all good. Now, hold up. Let me make my way back in here, in the room. I think I'm going to have to use WASD quite a bit to get around. You should around. go for a walk in the yard, Kate Walker. That door leads right to it. All right, buddy. Hold up. Thank you very much for letting me know. So, yeah, this game is going to be a little bit different because you are going to be able to control the character with WASD. 
Uh, is there anything around here? Hmm. I do see like a chest and everything, but nothing. Nothing else. Yeah, I don't know what the owl is doing though. Oh, hold up. No, no. Look at the window again. I, I saw something in the distance. So there's something apparently. Can I not move my mouse? Kirk's right tribe's here. camp, I guess. Aha, uh -huh, so that's the tribe. Interesting. I love that I can use uh, the character to look left and this right. This must be Valsambur, the town Kirk told me about. All right, and that is kind of about everything we can interact with here. There's really nothing much. I wonder if I'm supposed to get the bird What's to come on over. What's that doing here? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to get the bird to come on over, but of course, in order to get the bird to come on over, I need to do something. Nothing we can interact with on this side. Nothing we can interact with there either. You should go for a walk in the yard, Kate Walker. I already that did, door buddy. leads right to it. I know, I know. I mean, is there anything else I'm supposed to do at that door? Hmm. Of course, we don't have an inventory, right? I'm pretty sure we don't have an inventory system, yeah. Uh, oh, we do have the souvenir of Oscar in our inventory here, by the looks of it. But there's not really much I can do with it either. Bolted tight. Bolted tight. Uh, oh, hold up. Apparently, I can look on the side of it. Wait, what? Can I seriously look on the side of it? Hold up. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. This diagram shows how to turn the call button on, but I can't do anything until I can get at the internal mechanism. Search the room. I'm sure you'll be able to find something you can use to open it up with. I mean, that's what I was planning, and look at that. Now that we looked at that uh, note, apparently more things have unlocked around us. Interesting. All right, in that case, let's Nothing see what this useful is. Here. Uh, that's just some towel, I guess. We got the food. Oh, the knife. Of course we need the knife. Come on, grab it. That there we should go. do the trick quite nicely. Now yep, try exactly. to use it to see if you can repair the call button. Uh, I really don't like that this is kind of teaching me how to play the game. I already know how to play uh, point and click adventure games, buddy. Come on. You don't have to tell me every single step of the way what I'm supposed to do. All right, so um, in order to fix it, of course, first of all, I got to grab... Hold up. Let me grab the tool from my inventory. Right over here. How do I grab it? And use it here. No, what are you doing? <laughs> I already know how to do that. The controls a little bit jiffy though. It's kind of messing me up. Ah, so you gotta rotate this. I get it. Hmm. Right. Let's see if I can repair the mechanism. If you're not sure, maybe the diagram you saw earlier might help. Nah, we're good. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think. I think I need to place this cable up here. There we go. Did I do the trick? Oh, this one is needs to be uh, going on a little bit deeper. There we go. And I think we should be all good because I did hear a click. Wait, how do I go back and go back? Now, what if I use the button? Wait, this is not working. How do I put this button back again? Just like that. There we go. And press it. Finally worked. Finally. Right. Now I just have to find a supervisor. Well done, Kate Walker. I'm going mm. to have a bit of a rest now. Please try to come back and say goodbye to me before you go. All right, buddy. I will try. I will try. Oh, man, look at this place. I do feel like the puzzles are probably going to be a little bit more complicated now because of uh, the way the game works. Let's see, who do we got here? Uh, we can interact with that room. The ice water and the fountain Someone should have a word with the That'll maintenance clear up department. Damn headache. Hmm. Someone fine. should have a word with the maintenance department. Uh, what the heck is wrong with these fellows? Look at their faces. 
Have well, you seen the mammoths, them. too? Did Don't you tell the staff that way, maybe Dr. they'll Mongolian. believe me. <laughs> and have you seen any dragons, too? Maybe. I did see uh, the mammoths, but no dragons, buddy. So you're finally awake. Has Dr. Olga been informed? Um, I don't know. Get your bearings. I understood that the you'd be staying with us for a little while yet. Okay, buddy, hold up. Uh, can I actually make my way over here? I think this is the doctor I'm supposed to chat with, yeah. Oh my god, that looks like a freaking torture device. Ah, you're finally awake, number 10. What can I do for you? Well, it seems to me that I'm cured. And now I'd like to be on my way. Given your condition, that would seem somewhat premature and perhaps even unreasonable, number 10. What do you mean, my condition? What do you mean, my condition? <laughs> That's exactly You're what I said. For quite some time. Oh, wait, what? It's not negligible. And even if you seem better physically, there may well be serious psychological after effects. So you're refusing to let me leave? Oh, no, of course not, miss. I have no intention of abusing any of the prerogatives of my position. Nonetheless, first you must submit to a series of tests that are designed to demonstrate that you have fully recovered. You understand. Please, sit down. I... On oh that. my god, that looks like a freaking torture device. Yes, the heck? Yes, don't be afraid. What the? Man, I don't like this. This place. This place is too much. Don't worry about these restraints. Merely a simple formality that's part of the protocol that Dr. Olga, our supervisor, has implemented. I gotta have a chat with this Dr. Olga. Right. I do believe that we can begin. Now, be so kind as to state your first and last names, age, and place of birth, please. All right. Um, answer. My name is Kate Walker. I was born in New York, and I'll be 30 this year. Good. Good, miss. Up until now, mm. my device would seem to corroborate what you say. You're using a lie detector? It's procedure. Please stop worrying and talk to me instead of your friends and family. Are you what? on good terms with them? I have a feeling, Light Excellent, who had a falling out. What do you mean, Light Excellent? Absolutely. Let's go with that, I guess. I get along great with my family and everybody I work with. Oh, God. The Light Detector you is don't working. don't seem to be particularly scrupulous with regard to the <laughs> truth, Miss Walker. Hmm. Unfortunately for you, you were rather more talkative than expected while you were in your coma. A real chatterbox you were, and we took careful notes. We know that lately you had a most unfortunate falling out with all the people you hold dear in New York. Seriously? Your mother, your best friend, and even your fiancé. I understand that it all happened after you met Hans Vorlberg, and also a certain Oscar... Tell me about these gentlemen, please. Man, I I wonder what I'm supposed... I'm, I have a feeling I'm supposed to mess up with the machine here so that it doesn't know where I'm lying. Uh, say half-truth. Answer, I'm going to Siberia with them. Let's Answer go with me. say half-truth. Oscar was an automaton and Hans Varlberg was the person who made him. We became friends and I went with them on a long journey through Europe. There you have it. Of course. To be honest, what I'm interested in, Miss Walker, is that during your travels you were in contact with the Yukol people. The nomads who brought you here to Velzimbor. In your opinion, what should we fear from such a primitive tribe of savages who understand neither law nor border? Refusing civilization and settlement. Fear? Why fear them? Uh, they should be left alone. They should be made to settle down. Let's go with, they should be left alone. I think, Doctor, that the Yukols live in harmony with nature, time, and space. They have no real reason to change the way they live. Now that is an example of typical American idealism. Maybe you should go back to New York right away. I'm sure your brilliant ideas will be justly appreciated there. 
Man, I don't like this place at all. Um, don't say anything. Hmm, I see. In a way, your silence is quite answer enough, Miss Walker. So you intend to continue your journey through our country. A hazardous undertaking with neither goal nor destination. Pity for a brilliant New York attorney who seemed to have a gleaming future. That's not for you to decide, Doctor. For the rest, I think I've demonstrated throughout this interview that I present no psychological after-effects from my injuries. I would therefore like you to authorize my release now. Of course, of course. Do calm down, Miss Walker. I'm sorry, but I'm not used to being interrogated like this. Some years ago, I would have interrogated you in a very different manner. <laughs> oh my god, I don't like this. I grant that I may still feel some nostalgia for the good old traditional methods. Seriously, dudes? You're one of the very last representatives of a world that is fast disappearing, Miss Walker. A disordered world that no one will miss. This key is much like you. Unstructured and uncontrollable. If you're able to find that? a way to use it to leave this floor, then you shall have proved that you are permanently cured. What? I would like to get my things back before I leave. You will find them there. I was not expecting to be able to get my stuff back here. I was actually expecting these fellows to just lock me in a little bit more. Hmm. All right. Well, let me see if I can find my things then. I definitely have to dress up and get all the stuff that I had. I'm curious what else I'm going to find. Right, we got our clothing, of course. Can you please turn around so I can dress up? Turn around. <laughs> what the heck? Man, I don't like this place. I cannot wait to get out of this. Finally. All right, uh, by the looks of it, display objectives. So we are gonna have objectives. Hmm, is that a zero or is that O? I don't even know. Yeah, I wanna see my objectives, but I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm supposed to press on. Uh, at the same time, hold up, there was something here. Oh, actually that's the uh, dock yeah, that I'm supposed to interact with, Never mind. You seem somewhat upset. Try looking at the birds in the aviary. That should calm you. Hmm. All right, buddy, I'm going to give it a shot, I guess. But, man, that was really weird. Now, is this the aviary, I wonder? There is somebody here, by the looks of it. No, it's not really the aviary. <laughs> man. Hello. What's wrong with everybody? Everybody seems to have... And who might you be, miss? All yeah. these marks on their faces. Uh, my name is Kate. Kate Walker. Kate. Kate Walker. That doesn't sound too local. Yeah. So how did you get here, Kate? Kate Walker. The Yukels <laughs> brought me here. The Yukels. They're nothing but chicken thieves. A whole bunch of scumbag morons doing nothing but infesting the streets of Valsambor. Yeah. Now they've come here to do their dirty work. Uh, you mean Kirk, I suppose. For 20 years we've been in this clinic. Since we got back from Baranor. Listen, this place has always actually been a quality establishment. I don't mind admitting. So we were pretty disappointed when we heard that Madame Olga is now letting in those degenerate scumbags from up north. Come on, Anton, come on. Madame Olga knows very well what she's doing. She must have her reasons for letting those midgets in here. Wait, as I was talking with these fellows, the other one on the right side, I think I noticed a key on his neck. So have you really been here for 20 years? Yeah. At first, we were kept for observation with some of our buddies after that damn mission to uh, Baranur. Leon and me were almost yeah, the look last at that. He's got a key now. on his neck, so maybe I'm going to need that. I don't know. Gotta say it is a possibility. Were bad. Worse than us. Some guys who got it pretty bad. Fortunately, Madame Olga looks after us right. They look after us nicely here. Yeah. She looks after us good. She's a real lady, if you want my opinion. All right, buddy. Uh, let's go with uh, Baranur. Baranur? 
What's Baranur? A place. It's a goddamn hellhole. What are you talking about, Anton? That's all I have to say about it, Kate. Kate Walker. Can't stir up the past. <laughs> um, back? I'll be leaving you then, gentlemen. Goodbye. See you around, Kate. Kate Walker. <laughs> yeah. Why do you keep on calling See me like around. that? All right, anyway, uh, nothing from them at the moment, I guess. Let me keep on looking around. Let's see. Maybe uh, I can actually go to the aviary, as the doctor said, and get something from there. Uh, what about this fella? I really tried. I tried to tell him I was a whole lot better. Mm. They just wouldn't listen. All right, never mind, buddy. Hold up. Oh, is this the aviary? I think it is, yeah. It's really cool that apparently the bird... Wait, what are you doing? Where's she going? It's really cool that the apparently the birds that we're seeing right here, they seem to be automatons as well. Hmm. But I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Oh, I think I'm gonna need a key. Yeah. Yep, we're never gonna need a key if I want to get in. Interesting. That is not gonna work. In that case, uh, let me keep on going back. So we know we're gonna have um, somebody <laughs> back here. But I don't want to interact with these fellas. I just wanted to see if there's anything else that I go I can go in. And I have a feeling, before I leave, I'm probably supposed to go chat with my little buddy, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to leave, but either way, I want to chat with him. Nope, he's sleeping. Never mind. All right, in that case, let me try to use the key that we just got from the dock and try to get out of this place. All right, come on, Kate. Uh, can I interact with this? Hmm. I'm guessing this is uh, the, the thing that I'm supposed to open, again. right? Now, how am I supposed to open it? Well, pretty easy. If only I would use this. The key to the exit. Oh, hold up. This is not going to be an easy one. No, no, go back. <laughs> Man, I absolutely hate the controls in this game. So bad. Uh, let me go back to this one. And let's see if I can figure out how to rotate it properly. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to rotate. This one needs to stay... Not like that. Hold up. I think this one is supposed to go like right over here. Just like that. The next one. This one is supposed to go... Not there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where this one is supposed to go, actually. I'm kind of confused. The heck? It doesn't like it's going to fit anywhere, so I'm not sure. Uh, let me get this one into position over here. Let me get... Actually, this one is going to stay there. This one is going to move right over here, I guess. That's going to stay on that position. Mm, this one's going to go there. All right. That's going to be placed up there. Uh, this one, just like that. And lastly, this one over here. Now, there is one more that I didn't figure out. Hold up. Which is this thing. Yeah. Actually, I think I got it. There we go. Not that difficult. Hmm. It's kind of interesting that they gave me the key to get out. But but I think it was just a trick, yeah. I don't understand. The key. It didn't work. I did warn you, you know. You can't be at all well enough yet to deserve to be released already. Wow, seriously, dudes? The key's broken. 
No, there must be a problem with your damn key. Our keys are somewhat old, I will admit. But they've never failed me yet when called upon to do their duty. Mm. Well, there's a first time for everything. You can see that I managed to use the key and that I am perfectly cured. I have the right to leave. Impossible, Miss Walker. The rule is very clear. Only those patients who are capable of opening the door may leave this floor. Are you kidding me? So not only that, we're going to have to leave uh, this place. This is just going to be the first floor that we're going to have to leave. As for Madame Olga. Let's go with as for Madame Olga. Right. Since you won't help me, I want to speak with your superior, Dr. Olga. You can do that when she comes by to see you for her daily visit. But please don't count on me to disturb her before then. Man, are you kidding me? Absolutely hate this guy. Now, there's by looking back the there, key. that's obvious. I yeah, need there's to find out where it comes from. Uh, I was just about to say that I did notice a window back here that seems to be open or openable, I guess at least. Mm, but maybe not. Never mind. Hmm. So we got to find out where this key is coming from. By the looks of it, this guy seems to be going around and around. I wonder if I can go in his office just to snoop around. Uh, nope, we cannot go there. We could chat with this fella, and we have these two over here. Oh, hold up. We can go I in his office. I should inspect the key before I do anything else. I should inspect the key. Um, okay, okay. In that case, let me go back into my inventory. Let me go to the key. How do I inspect it, though? Ah, there we go. Yeah, I do see that it has a hole through it. I mean, I'm inspecting it. Oh, there we go. I already know that everything works here. Let's check the key. Let's check the key. These holes. It looks like something's mm -hmm. been removed from the key. No doubt about it. My key's been deliberately damaged. I need to find a perfect copy if I want to be able to repair it. I need to find a perfect copy? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, let me go inside his office then. Let's see what we got here. I mean, is there going to be another key right here somewhere? Uh-huh. What did you find, Kate? <laughs> Alright, she just made sure that he's not watching, right? What do we got here? We got a book on this side. Wait, is that pencil something I need? Hopefully not. We got pills over here and we got a picture. What is this saying? Yeah, I cannot read it. So I have no idea what it's saying. Oh, there we go. There's the key. Hmm. And I think I see what he's got. Yeah, I think it, I, I see what uh, what's missing there that I'm supposed to find. Interesting. Uh, in that case, what if I go into the inventory, grab the key again, and use it with that to compare it? Yeah, it is missing some sort of a I cylinder. I see. According to the picture, there's a pin missing. I need to find a way to fix it. But how hmm. am I going to manage it? I have a feeling I'm probably supposed to show maybe the brochure here to somebody. So that they could try to fix it for me. But I wonder who could be able to do that. Hmm. What about these two? Hold up. Let me see. What about these two fellas? What if I uh, try to chat with them? Exit. Let's go with exit. Can you tell me where the exit is, please? It's there. 
but you won't be able to leave until you've but had you a won't meeting. Be able to leave hmm. until you've had a meeting with Dr. Mongo Ling in his office. Mongo Ling? Yeah, he's the one who knows if you're cured or not. Yeah, I already ch chatted with him. I'll be leaving him. you then, gentlemen. Goodbye. All right, in that case, uh, let me try to show them the brochure and see if that's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> see you around. Man, these two guys are so weird. Uh, let me go back inside my room. Let's see. Maybe the little guy is going to be able to help me somehow. All right, so if I go and try to wake him up, can I do that? How are you, Kate Walker? Is your departure from the clinic imminent? I'm afraid not. You seem upset. What's wrong? I have to use a kind of key to open a door and finally get out of this place. It's a kind of a test, you know? A test that I passed, but the key didn't work. And when I compared it with an original, I saw it had been sabotaged. I'm getting the impression they're trying to keep us here by any means, Kirk. Whether we want to stay or not. That's a serious accusation. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Uh, I'm becoming paranoid. The proof is lining up. Let's go with that. Hmm. The proof is building up. First, there's that key which doesn't work, and that bed you're trapped in, and your missing prosthesis. It's true that I've been very weak since I began Madame Olga's treatment. Exactly. But she says that it's normal. They're she doing it intentionally. Don't, don't worry, effects. buddy. We gotta really get out of here. need to get out of here, Kirk. Unfortunately, I cannot undertake the long migration of the ostriches without the mechanical leg, Kate Walker. But you, on the other hand, you can leave. But how? Show me the model of the key you told me about. Ah, there you go. All right, open inventory. Uh, let me grab the brochure and uh, give it to him. Hmm, that's what I thought. With this, my tribe Smith should be able to repair your key. If, of course, you find a way to get it to him. What about I doubt the old? they have a postal service here. <laughs> Go onto the balcony. Our shaman's messenger is never very far. I use it to communicate with my people. You can give it the key. It'll take it to my tribe Smith. Got it. Thank you so much, Kirk. Awesome. Look at that. I knew that eventually we are going to use that bird to get out of this place. So, let me make my way to the window. Right over here. Perfect. Let me go into the inventory. Grab the key and give it to... Hold up. Can I grab the key, please? No doubt about it. My key's been deliberately damaged. Yeah, I know. I need to find a perfect copy if I want to be able to repair it. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I'm trying to interact with the hey bird you. here. Birdie, birdie, I've got something for you. <laughs> How do I give it to her though? Because it's not a, it's not allowing me to give it to uh, the birds. Hmm. What? How? Oh, man, this. Hey there, that's it. Come on, come here. This game is confusing. The controls of the game are really confusing compared to how they used to be in the first two uh, Siberia games. How the heck do I get this bird to come on over? Hold up, let me try to chat with Kirk again. Maybe he can actually give me a hint. About that bird, Kirk. I must be doing something wrong. It won't come to me when I call it. It's true that the old owl is a bit of a lunatic. <laughs> Have you tried to get it to land on the balcony? No, but I don't see what I can use for that. Look around the yard, Kate Walker. You may find something that might interest the board. Hmm, look Why around not? the yarns. I'll give it a shot. Thank you for your help, Kirk. All right, well, in that case, let's see what we can find outside here because the food is probably not going to be something that she wants. Um, I mean, there's nothing here. There's nothing in the yarns. I don't know why he keeps on saying the yarns. I'm guessing I'm supposed to look at outside? Huh. All right, let me look here then. Let's see, what could interest the bird? So if I look to this side, nothing. If I look to this side, nothing. Of course, we do have that. We do have the bird. And that is about everything that I see around here. Maybe he's talking about the yard in the on the outside, not here, not this. All right, I think I know, I think I know. Hold up. 
Let me go back. Hopefully we can find something that may interest the birds. Let me go outside through here. Maybe those bushes, if I do use the knife, cut a few, maybe that's what she wants. All right, uh, keep on going this way. And of course we got Someone this bush, right? Word with the maintenance department. What if I go into this and grab the knife? It's not allowing me to interact with that. Hmm. Interesting. What about this fella? Can I chat with him? Yeah. Anton fell asleep in the middle of the game again. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Hold up. Man, it's so difficult to control the character. Alright, alright. So I still feel like I'm gonna need something from these birds. Hmm. If I Maybe if I get one of these parrots... They're gonna sound like a bird. You look at that. Automaton birds? Exactly. Automaton birds. Um, no, no, hold up. Kate, come back here. There we go. What can I do to the automaton birds then? Exit again. Uh, so we got that exit and we got this one. Of course, that's not gonna work because we cannot open it up without the key. Interesting. Uh, what do I have in the inventory to give to the birds? Mm, nothing. Yeah, I cannot really give anything to these birds by the looks of it. Oh, hold up. That's not right. Yeah, of course I'm not gonna nothing. be able to use the knife with the key. Uh, with the key. Uh, with the keyhole. I wonder who's gonna have that key to go to these birds. Let me see if we can chat with them. Hold up, buddy. Can I chat with you? Be reasonable, please, nope. Miss Walker. I'm sure that with our treatment, in a few months, you'll regain all of your faculties. And you'll be able to leave the clinic perfectly cured. Yeah, 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 yeah. And don't worry about it. Uh, let me go back here because I see that these fellas are not... Oh, you know what? Look at that. He's now sleeping. And I have a feeling that key that he's got around his neck, that is what I need. Knew it. All right. This is probably going to be the key for the aviary. Uh, if I go back here, we cannot really interact with that, with their uh, chess. So let me now make my way to the aviary again. So a lot of things are going to change in the game, in your environment, as you keep on grabbing more things, I guess. So you got to go back and forth, back and forth quite a few times, even if you already visited a few locations. All right, that's not going to work, of course. You're not going to be able to open that up. But what I want to do is go into the inventory, grab me the key that we just got, and use it here. There we go. All right, let's see. What am I supposed to do now? Can I grab me one of those parrots? Yes, we can. <laughs> All right, I got the mechanical bird. And I have a feeling, now that I have the mechanical bird, maybe this one is going to call for that all. I'm just really, really hoping that's going to work. Alright, let me go back to my room, which is all the way back here. Perfect. Next up, let me make my way to this side. And use the uh, brand new bird that we got with the all. Can I? Right here. Uh, do I have to also turn it on or what? There we go. It's working. And I see that it, ha it, it has something on its back, which means that's probably what I'm supposed to put a key on, right? To be delivered to the Yukols. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs>
He likes it. <laughs> awesome. All right, so not only the key, but also the brochure. There you go, buddy. You can go. Hopefully they're going to be able to fix it in no time so that we can finally leave this uh, this area. All right, awesome. <laughs> I hope I can also find this guy's uh, prosthetic leg so that we can both so that we can both get out of here. That's good news, Kate Walker. Now we only need Oh wait. What Kirk. just happened? The What's heck? wrong? Do Dr. Olga's treatment. Oh, the treatment started. Oh no. Kirk. Kirk, can you hear me? Wake up. Come, come. No need to be alarmed, Miss Walker. What? Oh my gosh, she looks absolutely evil. Look at her eyes. Uh, Madam Olga, I presume? You're Dr. Olga, I suppose. We weren't expecting you to awaken for another few days, Miss Walker. This is surprising, truly. If I had known, I would have come by earlier in the day to assist you in your return to the world of the waking. Unlike poor Kirk here, I have no need of help. I am very well, thank you. Fainting is a secondary effect inherent in the treatment, Miss Walker. Nothing more. In medicine, despite any discomfort, protocol must be respected. Oh, you mean that horrible mechanical bed where that poor boy is waiting for a prosthesis that never comes? That's protocol? And I suppose the same is true for the absurd interrogation I had to go through. Oh, you nope. seem to have developed Please a do not paranoia me. since you came out of the coma. When we get the chance, I'll look into it. But for now, I'm going to ask you to please leave. I have to administer the next stage of the treatment to your young friend. Wow. Um, I demand to be set free. Dr. Efimova, I demand to be released from this clinic. And trust me, I will be denouncing the curious way you've treated Kirk and your other patients. You have a very unique way of practicing medicine. I don't think that was a I good idea. I find your defiance troubling, Miss Walker. I'm responsible for ensuring your recovery goes well. Of course, I can only strongly disapprove of a premature release. I'm not interested in your opinion. Let me leave this instant. <laughs> um, please don't eject Fine. me. Fine. Unfortunately, I cannot prevent you from leaving us. But please, please assuage my professional conscience before you go and let me check your pulse. No, 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 no. Don't do that. She's going to eject you. No, please don't. Please don't. She's going to eject you. I knew it. Oh, what my God. The... Are you kidding me, game? It's for your own good, Miss Walker. Believe me. Wow. You must receive treatment, whether you like it or not. Jesus. Hopefully that key is going to come very soon, though, so that we can get out of this place. That was... I have a feeling we're also going to be tied to the bed now, right? Uh, oh, never mind. We are all good, by the looks of it. I Dr. Olga drugged me. That woman is completely insane. Yeah, we have to get out of here. That was way too much. Way, way, way too much. All right. Anyway, guys, in that case, uh, I think it's going to be the end of the first episode of Side BR3 here. And we'll come back in the next one. I'm going to try to see if I can wake this little guy up. And also, at the same time, see if the all has brought me the key. Um, we just have to get out of here. We cannot sit here any longer. But that being said, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, we just have a few more days here before Siberia 4 is just about to release. And I cannot wait for that one to come out. But in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.